Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you three of my current favorite items that I have been loving at the moment. These are things that I have been loving over, you know, a few months now, and some are currently new and some just old favorites. So I thought I'll sit down with you and share what I have been loving at the moment. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs here from fashion to beauty and skincare and a few random items so let's dive straight into this. So let's start with the fashion items first. The first item, the first one is this dress, uh, this gingham dress. You've probably seen this on my blog. Um, I featured this in an OTTD outfit post so if you follow me on Instagram or if you read my blog you probably would have seen this by now. And um, it's basically this long, uh, not long, basically this gingham dress um, from Sister Jane. It's available on ASOS as well and it's just got like really big puffer sleeves and it's got like frill details around the neck and it's got and on the shoulders as well and then it's got like a lace detail on the sleeves as well. I have been living in this basically this whole month. Hang on, yeah, by the time this video goes, so I think we'll be in August, so when I say a whole month, we're talking about the month of July. Um, I wore this whilst on, I was on holiday in Budapest. It's not your average summer dress, it's quite thick. Um, it's got like a lining, I don't know what fabric this is, it's quite thick, it's not breathable, so it, it gets quite hot underneath this very quickly. And then underneath the sleeves, it's got two fabric as well, I guess, to, you know, um, to give that volume and to make it a bit more structured. So it is not your ultimate summer dress. At one point, I was like, I need to get up there. I was literally sweating down my back. But it is super, super, super cute. And I ordered a medium size because I didn't want it to be quite short. Um, I wanted to wear this in the autumn with tights and some brogues. That's gonna be a nice look, but yeah, that's that's my favourite dress at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's that there. Moving on to the second fashion item is this tiny, tiny um, bag from Ralph Lauren. I got this from TK Maxx just before I went on holiday, and basically this came with me everywhere I went. Absolutely love it. I did not think for such a small bag. Um, it's got a few compartments. I'll show you when we get to the inside of it. But I did not think I could fit that much in here. And just, just everything, I thought, wow. And it still had a structure, it wasn't bulging out, it still kept its shape very, very well. It comes with a gold strap, and it's quite a good length, and it's got like a leather strap band here for comfort, when, so it doesn't dip in your shoulders. And it is super cute, super classy, very elegant and sophisticated. And I love that it's got the gold hardware, very simple. Um, if you know me, I'm just really into simple accessories and this is just um, perfect for me. On the inside, it's got like six different compartments. So it's got a front pocket. Next one is a zip, um, one for to keep all your um, everything safe. And it's got another sleeve pocket here. And then it's got the main compartment, which is about this thick here. Basically that bit there. And then it's got a few card um, card holders for about well, six card holders, so that's good. And then you've got another um, small sleeve here. And like I said, everything that you need, you know, from your purse, your phone, your keys, maybe lipstick, a few makeup items, everything fit in here. And the price was really good as well for a leather bag. The only thing is it, um, it catches a lot of fingerprints, but it's quite easy to clean, so it doesn't bother me as much. So I just give it a quick wipe after every use, and I just put it, I just draw it in the um, dust bag that it came in. So yeah, so this this one on TK Maxx, and it is my ultimate accessory at the moment. And I am obsolete, and I am super super obsessed with this. So that's that there. So that's that for the fashion items. Let's move on to skincare and beauty. On to beauty, I am currently loving this Essence Gel Nail Polish and I'm wearing it today in the shade 55 Be Awesome Tonight. It is your ultimate girly pink colour and I'm actually glad that it matches the bottle because 
most of the time what you get in the bottle is not what comes up on your nails especially after two or three coats it either gets really dark or it's just not the, the shade that you're looking for at all but this this is still um, pretty much the same shade I love the the thick fan brush um, cover one nail in one coat and it dries very quickly as well and it's just been my ultimate colour this month I've been wearing it a lot I think almost every week now and yeah it's really like this pink shade and every time I look at my nails it just you know gives me that just makes me smile basically and everybody likes pink so why not give it a try next item is something that I picked up a week ago and I did not think I am going to love this as much because I don't think I didn't buy it to use it on a daily basis, I bought it to use it for when I'm travelling. I have been using this twice a day, every day, for a, for a week now, and I'm almost halfway through the bottle already. This is this um, Body Shop Seaweed Clarifying Toner combination on your skin. It says on the bottle, it's refreshing, alcohol-free toner, removes impurities and refined pores. And like I said, um, I don't actually know why I like this so much compared to my actual toner that I use every day and um, it does the same job but I don't know it's just, I don't know if it's the scent it smells a little stronger than the one that I use and uh, but it doesn't dry on my skin it removes it does clean out the dirt even after you've cleansed and um, uh, cleanse my face and it just leaves a nice silky matte finish I guess maybe that's what I like it but it didn't break me out and so we have to go and buy the big the full size bottle after this now so the next item is the real techniques miracle complexion sponge i've been using this for over a year and i just recently um bought a replacement one because the one i had had seen better today so it was due for replacement i stopped using this for a while and then probably about a month ago i started to use it again and i do not do my makeup without this i forgot how it felt on my skin and how um my makeup looked after using this to do and um, to apply foundation and even powder my makeup lasts a little bit longer as well i don't get streaks because i've got really oily skin sometimes but this it just blends everything well you know with the primer with the foundation everything just sits nicely blended well and yeah i just i've been loving it it's almost one of those things that you forget how good it was and then when you come back to you like why did i stop using this so yeah me and this we We've been getting on very, very well. Right. So the next item is another, um, something I'll be using for a very, very long time. And I picked this up accidentally. So I've been using the Cantu leave-in conditioning repair cream since I basically cut my hair and went and transitioned to natural hair. I think even before that. But I didn't know what I was in a I picked up the argan oil. Oh, I was about to drop that. The argan oil instead of the... The original which i think is the shea butter one so when i opened when i got to start when i started using so well, this smells a bit strong this smells a bit funny and i actually thought it was off i thought well i did it it took me literally about three or four days before i realized that this this is different from the from the other one and since then i can actually notice a bit of a slight difference in my hair texture in terms of moisture in terms of the overall health of my hair i don't know maybe because the other one was so used to it that maybe I wasn't seeing results for it. Whereas now that I'm using something slightly new, my hair is, is responding so much better to it. And when I do twist outs, they last longer, and I don't have to moisturize. I don't have to moisturize my hair on a daily basis, which is what I used to do with the other one. Yeah, it's just I can't describe the smell to you. I'm really bad with smell. I just know that it smells strong, stronger than the original can do if you're used to it. So um, next time maybe you're next to your near a counter counter just counter counter your near an, uh, a Cantu products definitely give this a smell and see if you like it. But I this is the stuff for my hair right now. Absolutely love it. I can move it on to I've got a few things for snacks and like food wise. So next item I have are these Evian um, fruit and plants. How cute are they packaged in? They're so lovely. I love the colours as well. And I've been... I don't really like water. I'm not a big fan of water. So anything that encourages uh, or has a slight little taste or makes it 
you know, not taste like water basically. Um, I'm all for that. So I've been trying this um, Ambien fruit and plant. It was basically the packaging that I really, I really like the flavours. This one is grape juice and rose flower and this one is lemon juice and elderflower. And I have been really reaching out, I've been drinking quite a lot of these and yeah, they, they're quite nice especially in this warm weather, they're very refreshing and probably healthy as well because it's water. And most of it, 80%, 83% of nat um, natural water, so in a way I'm drinking water. But yeah, this is really good. Um, give it a try next time you see these and let me know what you think. But yeah, I really like them. Moving on to food, I have been obsessed with these things. Um, it's the Love Chin Chin Biscuits, um, the African, West African snack. We have a different name for it in Ghana. Um, I think we just call it chips. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, so this is like the Nigerian version, but it tastes pretty much the same. And I, since I've, I've been introduced to these for about a couple of months now, and they are just, you know, I have them, I've been having them with everything from ice creams to yogurt to having them with a cup of tea, which is like my nighttime indulgement. I've been having them in my lunch boxes. So these ones that I have here is the chili and the cinnamon flavour. My favourite one is the lemon and then the vanilla. Yeah, those are good. I think is it four flavours? Yeah, I think it's four flavours. I think so. Yeah, I think it's four flavours. Um and they're currently available in Asda. So make sure you run to your nearest Asda and pick up um, a few pack and then try them out if you haven't. They only cost about a pound so they're not really that expensive. But if you can't find them I'll put their website down below and you can definitely give them a try. But they so they taste like I'll just they crunch like biscuit and just like cake basically and they're just they're so moorish and yeah I'm just loving them so then moving on to something that's more like blog related I have been I've had this Molly Meg's blogging guide for maybe two years maybe a year and a half and I didn't appreciate it that much as a, um, when I first watched it I did read it but I think I really took the points or anything they were talking about, any other advice so serious or compared to now. But the past two weeks I've been reaching to this almost on a daily basis, you know, whenever I'm trying to put out um, an article together or even I think I think of something. Or whenever I get stuck for ideas in general, anything to do with creativity, photography, um anything of that sort, I just reach in here and just um I just get inspired. It's really, really good and I would recommend it if you're a blogger, if, whether you're new or experienced, it's, it's just a great read. Just for um, general knowledge, it talks about photography, it talks about WordPress, what, one thing I've come to know about blogging. There's so many things that I discovered myself, or even had to learn to do myself, because nobody teaches you or nobody tells you, but to have something like this to your hand, and some, I, I wish you know there was something like this available when I started blogging. So. Um, but it's never too late anyway, so you know, grab one of these. I don't know if they still be in stores, but um, if you go on their website, Molly Makes, again, I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure they will um, they probably have it on their website as they cover a few topics. From, I would recommend it, um, pick it up and just have a browse and keep it because, you know, like I say, you're, it's not going to be one thing, something you're going to read once and just put it away. You're always going to come back to it for reference and just for inspiration and guide and um, yeah so that's some um i sat there it's really good and then the last item to get through is some a few random items um i have been literally <laughs> loving these two um household items so it's the method washing up liquid in clementine and the surface cleaner in pink grapefruit i think i saw these on amelia the youngest um, video one of the videos she did I thought oh this they look interesting just sitting on her counter I'm gonna give it a try I do look forward to using these um, every time it's time to clean up or whatever and you know the smell just lingers on and you just have the whole in that house smelling fresh and sweet and it makes me happy so why not so I thought I'd put that in there as well so that's about it guys um I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the few things that I've shared with you. I would like to know what your current favourite items are so please link them down below and I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!